more than 15 years, design engineers have been creating single circuit and system level designs using the award-winning WebBench suite of online design tools. Hi, I'm Jeff Perry from the WebBench team here at Texas Instruments. Since its very beginning, the whole purpose of the WebBench design environment was to save engineers time and effort during system design and analysis. Even as we've enhanced the WebBench tools and experience through the years, that is still very much our intent to keep it simple for the designer and to save you time. Now, TI is adding advanced power features to WebBench to extend and enhance your control over the design process for power supplies. The first of these features is Schematic Editor, which allows you to quickly and easily edit the power supply design schematics that you generate in the WebBench tool. letting you add additional circuitry to further enhance the functionality and performance of your circuits. And once you've edited your schematic, you can run the simulation and see the new streaming waveform feature that allows you to see your simulation progress. Now that simulation is completed, we can see the effect of adding the ripple filter circuitry. In addition to these features, we have dramatically expanded the support in WebBench Power Designer for TI's broad regulator catalog, making it easier to get even more design options with a larger range of voltages, currents, and features. We're also adding WebBench Advanced Power features to help you optimize a design for manufacturability and easier integration of power subsystems to help you get to market fast with a full system solution. The WebBench Advanced Visualizer feature gives you more flexibility to easily customize your designs to your performance requirements. You can see here the Advanced Visualizer panel gives you more control over your design simulation with a number of operating settings for key specs including desired frequency and V-out ripple. And to help ensure your design meets manufacturing requirements, the Advanced Visualizer lets you set component specifications such as maximum component height, ceramic capacitors, shielded inductors, and you can even specify a preferred distributor. WebBench Advanced Power Features now include Compensation Designer, which lets you further optimize your design for phase margin and crossover frequency. This allows you to meet additional performance targets, including improved overshoot and transient response, taking your design from good to great. After completing your initial WebBench design, let's say you entered a specific capacitor from your approved vendor list, but now your simulation results in poor phase margin. By clicking on the Compensation Designer button, you launch the feature that allows you to come up with the new compensation component values, based on your inputs shown here. Let's set a target for phase margin of 60 degrees and set our target crossover frequency at 80 kilohertz. Then, just click Auto Compensate, and the tool provides values which yield margins inside the limits you establish. Now we can see that the phase margin is very close to our target, and the load transient simulation now meets our stability criteria. The final WebBench Advanced Power feature I'll show you today is CAD Export, which lets you get your power subsystem created and integrated into your system quickly. Once you finalize your design, you can use the WebBench Export tool, which provides quality layouts for download into five popular CAD formats. You just select your preferred CAD format and export and save the file, then open it up with your CAD software. Go to ti.com webbench and start a power supply design to check out these new advanced power features. You'll also get access to all of the WebBench design and simulation tools, models, forums, and other design resources from TI. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.